Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 28 of FTB Interactions, where I am compressing, I think, is that right? Is that how you do blocks? I want an anvil. I can do that. Really? I thought you could compress them into iron blocks. Oh well, we need a block mold. Is that new? Is that different? I just updated the pack. Killing me, Smalls. Uh, block mold. I don't think we have one of those block molds, do we? Ugh. Killing me. I was all ready to start recording, and then dire fail. Oh, well. We're going to start it anyway, and we're going to have all kinds of fun. Uh, I want an anvil, but for reasons that you'll find out soon enough. Um, hey, welcome to the episode. We are getting off to a great start, as usual. Uh, let's see here. We can do this, and we can do this, and that's the file, right? Yeah. Boop. While that's cooking, I'm peeking outside. Look what I did! I made this area a little bit bigger, uh, and I kind of, in line with all my other stuff, I set up another tree beacon, and I've planted a couple specter saplings, because I'm being told, from what I've read, that these things work with uh, the tree beacon. So making tree beacons, super easy. Uh, I suspect that with, 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 with the specter stuff being the only way uh, that we'll get access to... Um, wireless energy transfer for a little bit. I suspect that to be true, right? Uh, that we're probably gonna want a lot of them. So I've been basically doing what I just showed you on camera here. I, uh, I, I let the ones that I was growing manually over there grow so I can chop them down. And then I've been getting uh, the resources from them and putting them into the barrels to prep for once those actually do grow over there by the thing. Remember, they don't work with the shift thing and they don't work with bone meal. You just gotta be patient uh, unless there's some other trick uh, that I'm not aware of. Yeah, we'll figure it out, right? Uh, no, that's not right. You don't click that. Muscle memory, please. But a bum bum. We've got an alloy smelter ready to go. Hooray! And an anvil, please. Boop. And the reason I want the anvil is uh, while I'm waiting for those things to grow, I want to go out and uh, get ready for what's going to be a little bit of an adventure that we're going to have. We're going to go get and prep for, uh, let me put you there, because I'm not really using that door so much no more. Um, you, sir, go to the Far Village. Can I name you in here? Far Village. Boop. Sweet. And you, sir, are an iron mine. And you are about to be oil well linked to zero 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 i know i hope i can still link you without too much of a problem uh i want to break you and i want to have a chest here instead and i'm going to place these two linked ones here and then you're coming with me and you can go away for a minute so basically my plan for now is at least to have like a chest where i store all the linked locations i want to hop in my boat i still have a boat don't i did i lose the boat i might have lost the boat but it's only five pieces of wood so i'll be fine I think what happened is I teleported home, didn't I? Yeah, that's what happened. So I totally don't have my boat no more. But at least we know where we're going. We know where we're going. And it's out and about in the world. So fresh nap. You guys look like you're doing a great job. So let's take a look. So where we're headed is all the way out here, near oil. That seems fair enough to me. Looks like we've got a little bit of rowboat to do. So what I'm going to do, uh, actually, before I do that, well, I think I can row it out there, and then we can t we can travel back and forth relatively easily. As he can no longer go in the door that he was just talking about not being able to use anymore. Uh, I should bring something. I should bring something with me. How about we chisel up some cobble? And we bring that with us to build like a little platform? Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, so we're going to do weathered bricks. Sure, why not? So here's what I'm thinking, right? We go build a platform in and around. Hello. Good enough for me, I guess. That should be enough bricks for now. Uh, in addition to that, let's put away you and you and some other things we don't need to bring with us. Because there's lots of things we don't need to bring with us, right? Lots of things. Okay. So that all looks cool. I had to use lava. I made... Did I make the thing? Did I finish making the thing? Or are my buckets of lava still in here? They're still in here. I had to finish making the thing. I made a fluid pump. Look at me. I have a fluid pump. Boom. 
Hooray! Between episodes, I prepped all that. Hey, that was a task complete. Hooray. I did update the pack to 205, by the way. For some reason, this quest is complete. Diesel cell? I, I never completed that, sir. But for some reason, it's marked as complete. Uh, rubber band man. You can now process raw materials into useful rubber. You will need sulfur for either route. But whether you use raw rubber or resin is up to you. Basic fluid, fluidifier, and mold plate. Okay, cool. Aw. Well, I'll make, I'll take them, but only because I already made them, I'm bummed. <laughs> but such is life. Uh, and then I'm not going to hand in this quest yet because I don't know why that's there. And there was something, it was under, it was around here somewhere where I would get access to, I'm going to need to like sleep through the night again before my travels. Come on, trees grow. Spectral saplings are so slow. But I have my building gadget with me, so that'll help build. Um, what was I looking to do? Uh, I wanted to... Um, so so what I'm working towards right now, just to clear up for you guys, is I need to make uh, a Specter Energy Injector. This will receive RF power and transmit it wirelessly around the world to any Specter coils, which require Specter lenses, which require Specter ingots, which require ectoplasm. So we're going to need some ectoplasm, for sure, uh, to get that going, and that's why we're setting up the tree thing, right, from last episode. We, we discovered most of the needs for that. But I'm just getting you up to speed, anybody who wasn't paying attention last episode, which is probably happy, so that's okay. So let's head out to the oil. What we're gonna do is we're going to plant the oil well teleporter, right? Um, hopefully that's, like you can still, so I can shift right click you anywhere and you'll just update. Good, yes. So it doesn't matter if it's linked or not already. It can relink. Cool. I like the sound of that. And how are you? Rather full? Ugh. I should really clean this thing out at some point. Like, there's a lot of stuff I don't super use or need anymore. There's a lot of inventory junk in here that I just don't need. But here's the plan. We're going to go out to the oil well. We're going to set up the pump. There was the other thing we wanted was um, liquid. Liquid, 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 liquid. Fluid, maybe it's called? Fluid... I wouldn't mind getting these going. Transfer nodes. All right, let's take a look at what's involved in making these. Wireless transmission of fluid. That's what's up. Um, you get them for doing the thermal evaporation quest, but I don't know that we're ready to do that just yet. I mean, they're totally doable. Getting salty. It's a quest for sure, but the main thing is that I want to know how to make them. So I have redstone, totally craftable. Graphite plates, electric pump LV, shifting star. That's reasonable. We can pull that off, no problem, right? Illumination powder, glass dust, medium covalence dust, which needs some brass dust, but we can get that. Okay, right? 250 millibuckets of mana, 250 millibuckets of mana. Same ratios, right? Nine and nine. No reason to make it in a mixer then. That's what I'm learning. So let's do this. Let's get our liquid transfer nodes ready to go, and we'll also get a couple tanks. And we have to figure out how they work before I go out to my fluid area. What I'd love to do is go out to, well, I want to go out to my fluid area once, but since we have the simple teleporter, it's really not a big deal. Let's row out there now-ish. It's getting, it's exactly noon. I think we can make it out there in time. Meh. What I'm going to do is just wait for nighttime, sleep through the night, and then I'm going to head out there and I'll meet you guys when we get in that general direction. Cool? Well, guys, definitely one piece of good news. Uh, our two trees have grown and they look like they're being spectered. We're getting Spectre wood, so that's cool. I haven't hooked this up to the barrels yet, by the way. Like, I've got item conduits ready to go, but I want to wait and see that these things actually drop what they say they drop, which is these dudes, ectoplasm, right? So clearly they're dropping wood, which is nice, but I want ectoplasm, please. Anyway, uh, off to the oil well. My goal for today, get the oil well up and running at the very least. Uh, and if I can get the oil coming back to my base, even better. Uh, and then what I'd like to do is uh, look at what's involved in processing that oil. Remember, we need the oil for some magical stuff that we're going to be doing, right? There was a reason we wanted oil for something magical. I forget at this point. <laughs> the rabbit hole goes deep. And then once you're so deep into the rabbit hole, you're like, wait, what was I doing again? Uh, but don't worry, we'll figure it out together. It'll be a fun adventure. There was something we needed oil for, right? Something we needed oil for. And then, uh, I mean, obviously we need it for MV tier processing, right? So like oil will be used as a new fuel source to power our MV machines probably pretty well. 
uh, and, and a supposedly leave and last into HV. And also, according to the quest book, these oil wells, um, the pack gives you ways to make them last a really long time. Uh, so th there'll be ways that we can make it so that the oil lasts a while, which will be good, right? Um, so I'm looking forward to see what that's all about, right? So a combination of magic and uh, oil. So I will be back once I've rowed my boat out to where our new oil wells are at. Remember, there were two or three of them within sight of each other. So once you find like a nice deep ocean area, you should be pretty good. All right, back in a few. All right, guys, we are back, and I've uh, found my oil wells, and I found whatever that thing is. Wait, I, that's not a normal generation of uh, a thing, but that's a bad dude down there. See that? I don't know if you can even see that on the YouTube video, but it's a scary thing. Oh, good, and, and oh, wow, well, we got more of those bad guys. Okay, hold on, nobody panic, but bad guys. All right, sir. Ouch. I learned something about projectiles. Yeah, no, no kidding. Alright, you are like literally a cheater. Get over here, you. I came prepared this time. I had a feeling you guys might be out here. Mm, Herc was on a roll. He sure was getting those Stymphalian bird feathers. Booyah. Booyah. Drop some bronze and copper and some iron. Got you. Got you. Hope we can do something good with those things. What are these deer? Wild deer. Look at that. Neat. Ember root zoo. Neat. That's cool. All right, so uh, what we're going to want to do is building gadget. Boop, boop. I'm going to want to have horizontal column. And then what I'll probably want is stairs. Let's try to get a rough approximation. Yeah. Does that look like roughly where we want to go? I think so. That look cool? I like it. Sweet. All right, so step one complete. We're going to marker you there. Now we can teleport back here whenever we want, right? And that's the key. That's that's the big deal. And I'm not entirely sure how the fluid pump works. Uh, when placed above a fluid, the fluid pump will take that fluid as a filter and begin to drain all fluids of the same type in the working area. It will search all the fluids below the fluids in the working area and drain them too. All the drained fluids will be replaced with cobblestone. Good to know, sir. Good to know. Boop. So filter oil. Perfect. Perfect. Loving it already. All right. To home we go. So what we're going to want to do, um, hopefully in the time that it took me to do all that traveling. Boy, I love being able to heal myself again. That's what's up. Hopefully in the time it took me to do all that traveling, uh, we may or may not, we'll find out, have found ourselves to have gotten some more specters thingies. And that would be good news. You know why? Because it means that the tree is definitely dropping them. And now I can insert this guy, whose label is still oil well, into the thing. And now I can teleport back out there whenever I want. No more need for boats. That's a good, that's a good sentence to get to say. Right? Uh, so we got a sapling. So that's cool. Maybe we want to, like, I don't know if... I don't know if more trees would help here or not. I'm just going to go ahead and plant it. I mean, I hope it doesn't hurt. Let's just put it that way. But I'd love to see you guys dropping these dudes, ectoplasms. Um, they are a rare drop, right? So, I mean, like, we, we experienced that from just cutting down the trees, right? I've gotten very few ectoplasms from this. But the hope is, see, like, I just cut down a whole tree, didn't get a single ectoplasm. Boo, I say. Boo. Uh, but my hope is that, you know, over time, 
we'll get some. As long as we get one, we know that we get some, and then it's just a matter of waiting for more. Yeah. I, can you... I don't know. We're gonna find out, though. I mean, it definitely ramped up particle effects. It seems like it's doing something, right? Doesn't it seem like it's doing something? Now, there's astral ritual ways to, like, speed this up, right? Like, we can... We can blast it with some, like, you know, astral collector crystal stuff. But, like, my thing here is, like, let's see if we get any ectoplasm. Would be lovely. Good to know that that works, though, right? <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, not loving the fact that we haven't gotten any ectoplasm yet. But I, I swore in the quest. Didn't the quest say it even? Like, for the ecto stuff? I might be wrong. I don't know. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. If it, if it drops ectoplasm, cool. If it doesn't, we'll just have to deal with it. Well, I've got good news and bad news. Uh, good news is... Well, it's a combination good news, bad news thing. Is this guy over here also reaching over to there? I didn't think he would reach that far. But I found an ectoplasm laying on the ground over here. And look, there's definitely ectoplasm happening. Well, there's definitely something happening. So if I break you, uh, so we definitely got some ectoplasm on the ground. So that's good news, right? We got one. This guy, as much as I've hick accelerated him, hasn't dropped any yet, which is frustrating. Uh, this guy, on the other hand, seems to be getting some ectoplasm. Well, it, it got some spectral woods, because just walking around here, you can see it. it's doing that. Which is not ideal, which is not what I wanted. Um, not, a, not a perfect scenario, as it were, but we'll figure it out. Just concerned. I don't, want, I don't want him to slow down his wood collection, which he doesn't seem to have, at least. Okay. I'd still love to see you pick up an ectoplasm, though. So the fact that there was one on the ground over here is promising. It means it probably will work. I'm just waiting to actually see it happen over there. Also, the vacuum inhalator thingy doesn't have the best range, based on the fact that uh, there's definitely items laying on the ground not being picked up. That's not great. Good news, everybody! Ectoplasm showed up. So that means for sure this will work, uh, which is super great news that I love, 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 love to see. Um, so let's set you to extract always active and you guys can be inserts. Insert, insert. I'm hoping I can extract out the front of this dude. I can rotate him if I had some kind of wrench that I could rotate with. We have a wrench or a hammer or something. I mean, we've got like those wrenches. I don't know if they work to rotate blocks though. I never made a hammer or nothing. The thermal hammer. Where is it? Okay. So I'll just rotate this dude and then he can extract out. Like that. Perfect. The only thing we might want is a void on the on the wood part. I think the saplings and the the stuffs are super rare, but the wood we will probably want to void upgrade on. And we can always make void upgrades in the future for more. They're not expensive per se. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't love that. That's happening though. I don't love that this is happening. That's not my not my favorite, but we'll see if we can survive it. So one more specter stuff here, ectoplasm, and we should be enough to make a few ectoplasm things. Let's come back in a minute. I wanna think if I wanna change this. So I can make this pretty large area, right? I don't know what the max is. Apparently the max is 10. Okay, never mind. Uh, I was wondering if like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten-ish. Not great, not terrible. 
Yeah, the Vacuumulator doesn't have a great range, and I don't suppose I can upgrade it because he's a... yeah. We'll see. Oh, and making another one of these is not out of the question, but uh, advanced item collector is easy to make if you have an item collector. Item collector is infusion crafting. Not quite there yet. All right, guys, we're back. So I did a bunch of crafting off camera. Uh, I don't think I used my time in a bottle too much. <laughs> Two hours have passed. <sighs> All right, so uh, I had to I had to do some other things. So there was definitely some AFK going on there. But uh, we've gotten ourselves a reasonable, I would say, amount of these things, ectoplasm uh, and, and saplings. That's cool. And then also between episodes, I did the following craftings. I made myself a pair of portable basic tanks. Easy peasy. Made myself some fluid conduits. Quite clear glass is simply sand and glass in a alloy smeltery. Super quick and easy. Uh, I also got everything I needed for two, count them, one, two fluid transfer nodes. Hooray! They're not bad. Pumps, it's seen it a million times. Graphite plates, already automated. Uh, Eye of Redstone, just, just needs some of those shards, which we already had some of in Redstone and Ender Pearls. Uh, steel Drum is just steel plates and long steel rods, which are uh, two steel rods makes a long steel rod in a forge hammer. Uh, and then finally, the last thing we needed to make was a shifting star, which I made off camera, um, but it's four medium covalence dust, which is redstone, low covalence dust, and brass dust equals nine medium covalence dust. Combine those with some sailless mundus and glass dust to get eight illumination powder. Two of the illumination powder made a shifting star. So we made two shifting stars because we wanted two fluid transfer nodes. So I left some of the excess <laughs> items in here. So there's the illumination powder and medium covalence dust that's left over. Um, and that's all she wrote. So let's play with these portable tanks, shall we? How do these work? I have no idea. We're going to find out. I don't know how these work. Hopefully they're not too crazy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put you in there. And OK, that's cool. And you in. Wow. OK, like that's neat. Uh, OK, fluid transfer node. Always on. Preview hidden. Preview rendered. As soon as I click that button, it starts raining. Coincidence? I think so. Detect target block. Bind a location with a GPS marker. Okie dokie then. Uh, and this is transfer rate. I guess that's millibuckets. So GPS markers are... Hopefully not too terrible. Seems easy enough. That's going to be lapis and bone meal. Bada bing! We'll get two of them. All right. Fluid transfer nodes. I have no idea how you work. I mean, I know it's wireless transmission of fluids, but let's see. If I saves location of a block, boom. Tile thermal expansion tank name. Sweet. And then do you. Hmm. Do I need two of these? I may not need two of these. Now that I'm thinking about it. What I'm going to do is borrow some liquid starlight. So let's say this is our oil out by our oil well, right? Uh, and we did that. Always on. Oh, hello. That's definitely telling me something. Detect target block. You think I need to, like, actively pump it? I might need to actively pump it. Let's get... That's why I got these guys ready. So you're connected. That's a good sign. Always on. Up is extract always, not insert. Down would be insert only, not that it matters. And you are still not super behaving. Yeah, that's totally it. All right, to the Googles. So let's try this, hang on. You go there. We're gonna take the GPS marker here. We're gonna shift right click you, save GPS marker. We're gonna insert you here. Fluid transfer node, always active, preview hidden. Oh, oh. He's got liquid starlight in him. 
That's a start. That's a start. Getting somewhere. Maybe we do it in the opposite direction. Shift right click U and put U in here. Oh! Oh! There we go. Okay, that's a thing. Neat. Okay. Now we're cooking. We got a bucket of liquid starlight in there. Now, can I shift right click you into here? Right? Can you dump directly into the tank? Ho! Oh, that's what's up. Ho! Oh, that's what's up. Look at that. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> That is cool. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. So that's what happens. Okay. So now we get it, right? So you shift right click the GPS marker on the destination and then you place it in there and any fluid that gets its way into its internal tank will be teleported to the destination tank. Got it? So this guy goes in here because thermal tanks, when you hit them with a wrench, will auto output to the thing below them. We don't need any conduits. Boom. It goes through, it routes directly into that, and then you're good, right? How cool is that? Easy peasy. I like it. Only one fluid transfer node necessary, which means we have an extra one for the future when we're going to need it, uh, which will probably happen at some point because, remember, we needed oil for something. Forget what. Not heavy oil, not oil bucket. Oil, oil bucket. Oil was used for something important. I forget what. Oh, right, we wanted to make the Petro Petunia. That's one of the things we wanted. And we want a tank for the Petro Petunia adjacent to it so it can pull the oil out of the tank. That's a thing that's going to have to happen at some point. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, we uh, I'm very excited now because that was easy and cool. It was both easy and cool. I like it. I like how fast it was. I like everything about it. Will you reset when I do that? No. So cool if you did. I love when NBT data gets wiped by self-crafting the recipe. It's my favorite. Oh well. Hey, look what we did, guys. We figured out how stuff works. So you know what we're going to do now. Uh, now we're going to get some of those spectral goo things and do ourselves some cool stuff. Right? Um, let's do... Let's do... Let's do crafting. Uh, how are we on time? All right, guys, we're back. So, unfortunately, I've used all my ruined marble, uh, which means I have to get more of it at some point. But, we should get that. We should get that. And then we come out here. And we should be able to make more ruined marble. Oof, out of ordo crystals. Oof, out of ordo crystals. I got one more. Let's do it. I can probably pull it off. Should be enough <clears throat> to get me going. Hopefully, we'll find out. So you guys all go away. I want four of you. I made a bunch because I wanted a bunch. Um, how did I get green crystals in my inventory? I have no idea. Terra crystals, did I take them out by mistake? I must have. When did that happen? Dire, you're losing it, buddy. Dire, dire. Everything's okay, it'll be fine. I totally don't need this junk. You go in there, you go that. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make a shifting star, so it would be four of you. That, 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 that. And then um, that. So give me a bucket of this. Let's go see if we can make a shifting star. Oh, by the way, learned this. We're going to have to wait, aren't we? I just slept through the night. Silly dire. I mean, it's midday at this point. But uh, shifting stars equals nighttime recipe. Definitely don't have the uh, starlight power. Oh, and four aquamarines. Don't have the starlight power for uh, shifting stars during the day. So we'll be back in a minute. But we need to make the following. We're going to make a spectral energy dude, which needs a beacon, shifting star, enlightened glass, specter lens. Um, let's get ready to make all this. Does that sound fair? I think so. Uh, so you go away. Give me four aquamarines. Thank you. And that's that. Let's get ready to make the uh, beacon, right? So, so we still want you, but I want to get ready to make the specter lens. Let's get two of these specter lenses, right? Because we also need one for the specter coil. So we're going to want that. So the best way to make these ectoplasm-wise would be lapis and gold blocks. So let's get 
Let's get two sets of these, right? That would be 14, perfect. So two lapis, two gold blocks. Okay, two lapis, two gold blocks. And that's going to get these things. So you, you, and you, one, two, perfect. All right, now what we want is, we want at least two of these, right? We're missing some emeralds. That should be cool. We've got a bunch of emerald nuggets. And remember, we could go farm villagers for these very easily. Very easily. I've just been like really lazy about it. So we're going to want two of these, right? Uh, one of them is going towards making the specter coil, which needs four fine metal wire and a vacuum tube. Cool. Uh, and then also for that, we're going to want 576 destabilized redstone. So what's that? Four redstone? I think that's right. I think that's right. And then the beacon needs the shifting star enlightened clear glass. So that's going to be quite clear glass, which remember is that and that, but with glowstone. And we need four of those, right? So we're going to want sand times four, glass times four, and glowstone times four. Boop, boop, and boop, right? And we're going to come over here. Whoops, wrong combination. There's your enlightened clear glass. You're going to make... Uh, Wow, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, you are gonna go in the fluid extractor, right? And then you and you and you go together in the assembly machine. Cool, you, you, and you. Cool. And then you're on your last one, which means you should be ready to go. Nice. Guys, we are getting there. Spectre coil, go. Right, and then let's go. Is it getting dark enough out yet? Oh, quest complete remote power. Thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. Let's go outside real quick. Is it getting close? I think it's getting close. Where's my bucket? I took my bucket out of my inventory because reasons. Uh, but we're gonna need you. And then while we're at it, we want the beacon. So we've got the four medium covalence dust or mana powder. They look like medium. Oh, Batania mana powder is a thing we have to do first. That's not medium covalence dust. That's not medium covalence dust. Sneaky, sneaky. Look similar. All right, how about we do this? We'll wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We got to get into Batania uh, to get the powder going. And then we're ready to roll, okay? So I'm going to put all this stuff in like a, a working chest like I usually do. Like, hey, I'm working on all these things. We'll get back to it shortly. Uh, what I'll probably do is just real quick make the... Um, Make 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 the shifting star because it's gonna be nighttime in a minute. I think that's probably wise-ish. Yeah. So I just need for the shifting star you and the marble, and those two and those four and those two. Cool. Yeah. So we'll go make this and then we'll wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We will get Batania to a point where we can get mana powder. Right. Um, now to make this happen is gonna be a little bit tricky, but I think we can pull it off. See, you totally need nighttime. It wasn't dark enough, actually. Now it's dark enough. Um, so how are we gonna do this? Uh, can I bring a battery out there with me of some kind? Probably not. Probably not an RF battery we can bring with us. We'll have to figure something out. But I'd like to make it, I wonder if the building gadget can work as a battery. I'd love to see it like actually give me some oil so I can get mana production going with the oil. I can always pick up the oil with a bucket. I'm just trying to avoid doing that. So if I could pull that off, a little bit manually, that would be cool. Anyway, for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. And shifting star complete. Sweet. You think you building gadget can act as a battery? I don't know. I'm not sure if immersive can pull from any RF storing power or what. I really have no idea. Let's find out. Hey, you. Do you have like a battery thing? Yeah, definitely not. All right. It was worth a try. It was my only RF storing thing, right? It's the only thing in my inventory that stores RF. That and the destruction gadget, of course, but if if building gadget don't work, destruction gadget ain't gonna work. But we'll look for like a, is there a capacitor of some kind? 
some kind of RF battery. Oh, those are bad guys. Those are some bad guys over there. We are going to want to cut off that land bridge. For now, Delta 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.